I'm going to ask, why do you prefer fantasy over sci-fi, which is clearly incorrect? <laughs> oh, those are, those are harsh and fighting words. <laughs> <laughs> we got to see the Wikipedia pages being constructed live. And so you could mm-hmm. see like TY700 and then they start filling in like properties about the star and they make a page for planet D and you can just see. Right. And this was while the press conference <laughs> was happening. The full make light curve with this beautiful spot modulation pattern. I was like, oh no, they're gonna find it too. Planets that weren't tidally locked, that were spinning, and you know, the temperatures were wildly changing from day to night to day to night. I would think that was weird. Like how can life evolve on a planet that the temperatures are swinging by hundreds of degrees every day? If any planet's gonna have a moon, it's this. It, it's the, this is the perfect planet to have a moon. And I will like <laughs> eat my hat if this planet does not have moons. It is hard to look past Earth. Yeah. It's a great planet. All my friends are here. Uh, so that's that's my real favorite planet. Transiting planets are like cockroaches. And I mean that in a good way. Jesse does transiting planets for a living. Um, the good way I mean it is for every one you see, there's another hundred out there. Oh, no one else in the world knows this planet is here. I'm, I'm the only person that, yeah, I better tell people, but uh, 